Graffiti world, street art from five continents. Let's ignore street art as a as a title, shall we? Uh, Nicholas Gans, published by Thames and Hudson. This book came out in 2004. It's a big fat one, so I better get cracking now. Get started on it. Nice picture. So this book was like a sort of almost almost biblical when it came out. It was it's supposed to be a real sort of encyclopedia. It's a great. Great McLean there, is that Tasso or um, what's the other geezer called? Can't remember. Lovely shot there. Don't know where it is. Great stuff though, right? Great stuff. 2004, nearly 20 years ago this. And uh, at the time, great atom burnt out bus or something there. Uh, at the time, it was, it was supposed to be like a really comprehensive thing. The thing is, whenever uh whenever this was like just prior to the, the the explosion of social media so projects like this were still very rare and uh nice space invader there they were still very rare so when people got requests to be in books a lot of the time you just ignore it because you thought it was some chancer you know and uh and so a lot of people missed out on being in this book unfortunately because then, you know, every so often you get a request, oh, send some photos to blah, blah, blah. And you can think, oh, I'm not doing that. There's no point, is there? 3A crew, this totem. Fabulous, fabulous artist. Some great old wall. Look at these walls. They're really, there's so, so many walls like this in the early 2000s. Fantastic production walls. Um, look at that beautiful stuff there. And this, oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Look at that on a freight. Gorgeous, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Above with the arrows, the pointy up arrows and all that. Don't know this fella. Looks quite stencily. I used to love stencil art early on. There's a guy called One More. Who I, I think I think Steve Moore might be in here, uh, and his stencil art is extraordinary. Anyway, I was saying, wasn't I? You know. People wouldn't, you know, you, you'd see people, i just flip through it so you can see it, anyway. Uh, people would kind of go, yeah, oh, you're putting a book together, are you? Yeah, no chance, ain't going to happen. And every so often, it was a legit one, and you wouldn't send your stuff in, and so you wouldn't get in a book. Uh, I was quite fortunate to get in a few that I uh, I did I did send, actually sent some stuff off, and that ended up really big books, like Sticker Bomb 2, you know, I ended up in that. It turned out to be a gigantic selling worldwide book. Uh, so it's just the luck of the draw, really, when it comes to this stuff. I'm not in this one, unfortunately, uh, because this one turned out to be massive. Love that character. Love that. Who's this? Bino. Ooh. Do I know this fella? I don't think I know. Oh, I've seen his stuff before. Look at that. That's a mad piece of... A mash up there. Beautiful. Great. Buff Monster. Pretty sure Buff Monster's from LA. Got very famous. Very big on the gallery scene from what I remember, Buff Monster. Yeah, I was saying, you know, this is 19 years ago now. It's a long time in graph. You'll see a lot of stuff in here that that is it's dated, it's still fabulous, it's great, you know. Uh but you can see how much graph has moved on within that time. Just brilliant foundations. And look at these characters. Great characters. This is Cabin Fever Crew. Don't really know them either. Obviously, I've been through this book many times. But there, were, I think what happened... Oh, Case. This is... Um, so Case, as far as I know, is McLean. McLean Crew. If it is the same case. Maybe it's not. But shut me mouth, eh? Just in case. Um, yeah, I, I tend to sort of gravitate to the same artists. Because you do, don't you? You tend to sort of gravitate to your favourite artists. Uh, and there's uh, just some great... Dave Chino, obviously. The, the, well, Dave Chino and Coke too, very famous. Look at that beautiful bubbly throw there. Great. And a classic... Redbird panel piece there from uh, from Coke. Good Crayola, Greg Simpkins, who's an absolute ledge. If you're a character artist, 
you know this guy. But you know, look at look at his letter pieces as well. How good is that? That is absolutely amazing. Look at the intricacy. Look at the shading. That's like a. It looks like he's built a sculpture on the wall. It's so good, so good. But this stuff, you know, this is the stuff that all character artists looked at at the time. And went, what the hell? This guy's a magician. Incredible work. Incredible. I think all of us as character artists who looked at Crayola's stuff and just thought, look at those cans there. Beautiful work. Beautiful. And that is such an LA piece, that piece. Gnarly LA styling on those letters. Oh, beautiful. This is um, Dalek. A great sort of cartoony abstracty concepts and yeah 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 days again bit of a ledge i think uh i think killer keller interviewed him recently on his channel go and check it out i got the fire i don't know it i don't know him the flower guy oh i see he does flowers and stuff I guess I guess there is quite a lot of street arty stuff, what we would classify as street art as well in here. Because at the time two thousand and four, the delineation between graffiti and street art, it was there was sort of it looked like it was gonna be a bit of a fusion, and then it didn't really happen for obvious reasons. I say obvious reasons, it didn't really happen because the delineation between what street art is, defect anyway. Um Oh, this is the other does. Not this is this is the Brazilian does, not the does from Citard in in Holland. The other does. Yeah, the delineation between street art and graffiti is obvious to us now. You know, graffiti is all about writing your name, fame, hip hop culture, all that sort of stuff. Street art has gone a completely different way. Even though some graffiti artists became street artists, uh, and it, it was. I, <laughs> There's so many distinctions, you know. Uh, obviously, street art is, is far more popular than graffiti. Graffiti is still quite elitist, you know. And I mean that in the best possible way. We all love the fact it is. Flint. Bit of a ledge. Flint. Huh? This is great, isn't it? Beautiful stuff. EGR. Heavyweight. Oh, nice font, mate. Look at that quadruple skate deck, skate skate decks. Very nice sort of artistic feel to all this. Look at that beautiful face there on it. Very nice, very nice. Herbert, that looks like it's um again Brazil. Amazing, amazing sort of street art culture in Brazil. HSA crew, Hune. See, I love that kind of thing repurposed old flyers and stuff with great graph on them i adore that as you know i love a bit of uh, love a bit of amazon cardboard quest freight king canadian labrona don't know labrona interesting stuff I'll go wrong with a bit of that. That's uh, a beautiful bit of uh, of paint control there. Oh, it's because it's the Mac. <laughs> the Mac, his style has changed radically. I mean, he did beautiful portraits. He's always done beautiful portraits. But his portraits now, if you've seen them recently, old Mac uh, is just uh, another world. Just brilliant. There's a nice little gatefold there. There's some mad, mad graph on it. I won't go into too much detail there because I've got a fat book to get through. Man one, I'm at over time, nearly 10 minutes in at this point. Damn. Nina, again Brazilian. Look at those figures. Gorgeous figures. Who's that, Mertz? Really, look at the, the composition of that figure. Look at the shape. The, that's, that, artistically, that is very, very accomplished. I'm sure I don't need to tell you that. Beautiful poses and then figures and gorgeous sort of fine art style as well. I love a nice fine art style. Rossiemios, they're very, very famous uh, Brazilian street artists, obviously. Um, Alba. 
It's interesting. Some of these guys don't even work in spray paint. Some of them work in uh, like pastels and stuff. Straight on metal. Incredible. Oh, boy. I mean, some of it is not. Look at that. There's an old flyer there. Project 9. Who's in it? Bo, Joker, Joe Barnes, Remy Ruff, Shroom, Stack, Stormy, System, Tasek, Timid, One More. Some great, great artists there. I think I must have gone to that one. Seven Dials, oh, I did, yes, I went to that one. God, that must have been back in, what's that, 25th of May, 2005, probably. Damn. Flies by, doesn't it? Plus you. California artist, really, really good. Did Pursue do Bunny Kitty? Is that right? Bit of a shout to Toast there, Stick Up Kids. Yeah, those two. It's all this styling, you know, it's cutting the edge at the time. Look at that group scene there. That's very accomplished. That is a great, great wall. Ah, oh, Dez, rest in peace. There he is, DJ K Slay. For those that know, old New York ledge. All these guys that are part, and yeah, this is great. Such a great, what's this? Yeah, the TDS, TDS 25th anniversary wall. Big Monopoly board, what a fabulous wall. That is a production piece, right? That's a major production piece. When you sit down and plan that and do all that, to do like one wall like that in your entire life is pretty amazing. Some of these guys pump them out, you know. The organization required. These are nice pieces, aren't they? Bit of an abstracty feel to them, they're a sector, Canada again. I'd love that forever. Look at how that jumps off the wall. Big classic sort of, all like, almost like sort of oldie westy, seeking heaven crew. Great, you see styles that you don't see anymore as well. I mean, you know, love them or hate them. It's always nice to see styles that have sort of become defunct. Look, I bookmarked this, I wonder why. Oh, because of these pieces up here, look at that. That is a mad wild style. <laughs> look at that, beautiful style that as well, I love that. Really interesting colours on that as well. Not particularly vivid, they're very muted. Muted colours, takes a lot of balls to use muted colours in a piece like that. That's Brazil again, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. No, that's Los Angeles. I should have known that actually. It's a much more, uh, much more Californian style. Yeah. Sonic. So I'm not really not nuts about this sort of stuff, but I, you know, I appreciate, I appreciate the artistry. Legend in the house. Stay high. One four nine. This picture of him. He's dead now. Rest in peace, mate. All started in '69. Yeah. Look at this, I mean, look at his, his beautiful calligraphy. Gorgeous. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Look at how accomplished that is. This is real beautiful artistry. Very gifted artist. Oh, Swoon, yeah. Yeah, she's a bit of a ledge swoon. She's featured in the Beyond the Streets. You know, this is really interesting. This is all digital, isn't it? Syndrome Studio. Again, the fusion. It was very big back then as well. Really big. The digital graph thing. Really, uh, really big and popular. Tats Crew. I think we all probably know who Tats Crew are. Yeah. Bio, BG183. Brim, of course, was one of the first uh, US graphers to come over to the UK. Kick us off, had a piece up Ladbrook Grove in 85, I believe it was. God, that seems like a long time ago. TS5. You can see, don't really know them, love that. I mean, some of this stuff. Great. Oh, that's a mad one. Wow, 
Brazil. Brazilian hub, I don't know. But, um, and which... Into Europe now. Wait. That looks like it might be. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it is Lumit. Yeah, Lumit's in there, I think. Another Western. Oh, love that. I remember seeing that piece, seeing pictures of that piece and going, what the hell? One, two, three, clan. Interesting graphically as well. Interesting sets of graphics and stuff they've done. Great vinyl figures there as well. Again, this is all new at the time. You know, it was new. It was starting to graph was starting to sort of find different platforms. I mean, this is uh, this is Steve Moore. One more. That is a beautiful set of stencils. He used multi-layered stencils, which is very common now. But he did them in such a way that it just looked like an exquisite sort of like hand painting or something. And look, that's actually portrait. I don't know if you can see that. It's portraits of him there as well in the back. Just faded in the background. What a great right there. Brilliant. Really brilliant. That's oh, crying. Love that. What a stylish tag. Oh, so graphic and beautiful as well. Black and white. Different line weight. Lovely. Alex one. Amazing use of sort of parallel lines and negative space. Great combination. But we all know this fella. He needs no introduction. Again, that really shows the time because uh, he's sort of been vilified over the years by our movement. He's become very much a sort of populist painter now. But, you know, people forget he was a graffer at one point, a proper graffer, you know, painting freestyle characters and stuff. This guy, fabulous. Look at that. That is incredible. You know, you see the stuff that would fare well today. Look at that as a beautiful sketch as well. Love the composition of that. What a great angle and everything. Good stuff. Good stuff. Different blade, not New York blade, French blade, that one. But again, that's quite a famous panel piece. Quite a well known one. Nice, Italy. Big Ledge, Black La Rat, hugely inspired Banksy. He was the first to do it. The Bogside artists, these these fellas who uh, have done the stuff in Northern Ireland. Oh God. Wow, Capo Crew. Look at that. Look at that for a piece. Again, to do a wall like that. <laughs> Once in your career as a writer is is uh, is something to be part of a crew that knock these out on a regular basis. You've really got to devote a lot of time and energy and money into into your work. Most of us, well, most of us don't have the time, frankly, and and the rest of us can't work it out logistically. Trying to get together to paint, I find almost impossible nowadays. Trying to balance life at this age you know work particularly work is what takes the time up cg chris great stuff here look at that letters in the spaghetti look at i mean that is just fantastic that as a, as a piece of look at the colorway on that the browns contrasting with the blues all these colors here working together not not taking the the big because that the name is where you want the attention so that is contrasting hugely with all of your background that is really really clever color work you know i know i've said it before take time to study color theory because it will really help you out this these people have either they really intrinsically understand it or they've studied it very hard because that just pops.
that's what we mean by it, it pops out of you because none of this is overwhelming that. That is your main focus. <sighs> the Chrome Angels, so glad, glad, jeez, can't even speak. The Chrome Angels, really glad they got a feature here. Old, uh, old UK styling. You've got Pride Mode 2. Scribbler, Zeki D. Uh, these were legendary pieces that inspired a whole generation of UK writers. Shame we only got one actually, but you know. For them to get a mention at all is pretty amazing because they don't really exist in that form anymore. Yeah, you know, they're all artists in their in their own right now. Obviously, Mode Two has has become a, a massive sort of well famous artist. Love this stuff, beautiful. Visionary stuff, China. Chromopolis, oh, that's a great view, look at that. The tattoos on this guy. Really mad. We still have some close ups of them actually. Yeah, Chrome Angels, they're all, uh, love this guy as well. CMP, Urban Scenes, all that. Fabulous artists, very inspirational. They're all artists in their own right, you know, Zeki. Scribbler, Mode, Pride, Bando, all all great artists in their own right. Mode, of course, has just gone on to huge, huge fame. Kodak. Mm. Oh, yes. Don't remember this guy's name, actually, Corral, but I remember that piece. That's a very iconic piece. Another gatefold come up here. Massive graffiti mash. These characters here, can you see these ones? Look at these. Photorealistic characters. These are amazing. Look at the detail on this wall. That is extraordinary. Just brilliant. Look at that. I just want to show you this one as well. Look at that. That is a crazy mad wall. Amazing colorway as well. Beautiful, sort of the, the purples and the reds and the yellows together. The darkness, look how, look at the light on that, the lighting effects on it, so good. Really, really good. The man who pioneered 3D art in graffiti, Diane. Look at that on the bricks, on the bare bricks, beautiful. Yeah, all fantastic. That's uh, a bit of Daddy Cool there as well. Daddy Cool star. I don't know what Daddy Cool does anymore. Probably see a bit of Seek. A lot of these guys painted together. Seek, Lumit, Dime. Really good. Early 2000s. More Dime. Exquisite to can control. Lots of splash around as well. DFM Pro. Yes, hey! <laughs> Happy little accidents for those that know. Nice, nice vans there. And the caravan. That is great. Look at that. Again, use of colour. That is really clever. So this is Mies McLean. Photorealism, just astonishing photorealism. Just looks like looks like somebody's put a set of posters on there. Isn't it? Oh yeah, that's very street arty. I mean, that's quite nice. It's artistically, it's quite nice, but um, you know, it's it's about as far from traditional graffiti as you could get. Isn't it? It's almost, in fact, it's almost conceptual, isn't it? It's almost conceptual. Heshaw. Ethnic. Evil. Flying Fortress. Very famous. I remember coming across this big Flying Fortress piece in Italy when I was out in Rome. About this time, actually. It was around this time when Flying Fortress was very, very big. And he was uh, meeting the styles. 2005 in Rome. Nice. 
nice. That'll be work. Get one. Again, look at the muted colours. Muted colours are really interesting seeing different colours in different countries and everything. Great and Bates. Bates, obviously, you know, a huge, a huge ledge uh, from Denmark, I believe, originally. And uh, yeah, been there, done everything. Bates is the man, great man to deal with. Uh, I've had a few comments with him over the years. Top fella. That piece, just, I've loved that forever. Because of it, that's that for me is like pure graph. For all of us, right? You know, what a wall. This. Mm. You always love that there, I remember that. The dark blue and the black, yeah, quite. Inky, Inky, one of the UK's first. That's uh, Inky and Chio as well. Oh, there's any other, other Chio, probably, I think. Maybe these characters are cheer, I don't know. Not sure. But um I love that. It's a beautiful piece, isn't it? Thank you for this piece there. Yeah, one of the UK's first writers, uh very, very well respected writer in the UK. Jace. Mmm, nice. Pencil y look at that, pencil 3D. Great, so good. Big production wall there. John Juice, also Juice, one of the really early UK writers, writing since '83 or '84. I think '83. Top man, really, really top guy from Birmingham, West Midlands, UK. Uh, very quickly moved into abstract as well. That's some amazing abstract stuff. And uh, yeah, still on the wall. Top man. Another juice there. Karski. Intro. That's very interesting. If you look at the composition of that, he's used circles up there, you know. Circles across there. Really interesting. The way he's put that together. Kid Acne. Kid Acne was massive around this time. Don't hear much from him. He's probably. He's probably just got a really nice design job somewhere. It often, often happens to, to graphers. You know, you get you get a really nice design job somewhere, and, and all your artistic energy goes into that instead because you're making good money doing it and fair play. But, um, yeah, this this sort of character, he was massive at this time. He was everywhere. This kid acne, very distinctive work. KRSM, yeah. Yeah, again, very iconic, sort of hexagonal characters and stuff. Oh, La Club 70. Love these guys, particularly Tilt. Tilt was one of my favourite artists of all time. But, I mean, look at it. The combination of styles. Tilt with the uh, the Dondi homage there with the Bode character. Photorealism. you got gnarly traditional sort of like... It looks like a coke piece even uh really new yorky styles that to me is just like the perfect graffiti wall in a in a sort of old style new york sense the, the one above it as well love that too look at that that piece sort of almost ghosted in there with the monochromatic character you've got the two characters here you've got the same here i mean that is gorgeous that is again them two big productions, that's some of the best graph you'll ever see, in my opinion. It's absolutely beautiful. Got 3D just there. Big tilt bubbly letters sprayed absolutely perfectly on the wall. Oh, so good. La Club 70 from Marseille, I think. No, uh, Toulouse. France, anyway. Oh, more tilt. Love tilt stuff, and that's um, oh god, is that Miss Van with the characters? 
legs. Great, great pile style. Neck, nice. LJ DA crew, don't know them at all really. They're from Germany, Switzerland, Spain, US. This guy, European ledge, Locus, Stalingrad in Paris, he was there. Early 80s, kicking off the French scene, the, the Parisian scene. Became a massive player in European graffiti. Very quickly took it to a mental place. You know, look at this stuff. Just boom. artistic explosion on the wall. Great writer. Lumit, same. European king, you know, trailblazer. Mac 1. Portraitist, all that great bit of early can control there. Mambo, this is Miss Van. I'm pretty sure them characters. Is she a member of the club? I don't know. Beautiful female characters, anyway. She's great. Saw an action in Shoreditch once. Another. Adam Nee, he used to leave stuff, uh, he used to do portrait and do, do this sort of. Uh, you wouldn't call them portraits, would you do, do his canvas work and you just leave them around London for people to find. Charged a lot of money for them now, so anybody who's got an Adam Neat from back in the day that they just found on the street. Nice one. Nylon. Very upright. Yeah, all over the place. Nice one, nylon. No, so beautiful. Beautiful sea. It's going gorgeous. Lovely. NTM crew. And my other set. We've got still a chunk of this book to go, you know. I'm running out of time. I love them colours. I love them. Oh, it's Ogre. Yeah. yeah. RNG crew. Piece of 73. Porno stars. I'm zipping through some of this just because I'm aware of. I've been going for a while. Yeah. Not too Rousseau. Rock Group. This is She One. Um, can't remember the other fella. No, I can't remember. Can't remember what the other fella's called. Still see She One pieces. Uh, there's one down Borough Market in South London, up the road from me. Uh, really distinctive style. Again, distinctive form of calligraphy. Almost abstract, but not quite. Uh, yeah, great artist. Remy Ruff. Again, early UK. Uh, Remy was very influential on me. He was one of my mentors in Graf. He's from up the road. We used to live around the corner from each other. And uh, he really, uh, he really steered me on Graf. Got me back into painting walls as well. He's done some groundbreaking work. He mostly works in fine art now. Gallery work all over the world. Still paints walls. Still does it. I own a bunch of Remy's stuff. Uh, he, he's done some great stuff over the years. And I'm lucky enough to own some originals. Rosie One. Classic, classic graph. Rosky. Well, that's good. Look at that. It, that's really accomplished the way that is sprayed. Beautiful. That graphic. Stage. Seek. Love this guy. I don't know what this guy does now. But his, his work on the wall is gorgeous. Really fine line work and beautiful muted colours and everything. Just so exquisite. And look at that sort of machine tooled piece. Fabulous. So good. So good. I assume he's still active. Sex. What a great can style that is. A bit of a sketch can style. Very impressive. Reminds me of um Heracut, you know. James Gear. Oh I love that wall. <laughs> love that. An asterisk wall. 
with an asterisk font, shine base and sketch. Really good, really good. Sick boy, he's still around. Got his traditional sort of uh, little temple thing he does in the uh, the yellow and red. Soul crew, SP crew, look at that. It's amazing, that. That is an amazing piece. Just amazing. What a wall. I mean, they're all amazing. That's a beautiful thing as well. Just, I mean, it's great, isn't it? So good. Sweat. I've seen these characters as well. These old um, uh, video game characters, computer-generated characters, I believe, from maybe the maybe the nineteen eighties, even. Really good on the wall. Beautiful pieces. Great fades and yeah. Still going strong. Tasek. This. TCF crew. Ooh, lovely production. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful big sort of haunted house and a cemetery piece. I mean, that's just fabulous. I love a production wall. I love a really good production wall. True Stylo. Yeah. UCC. Biographic. Used to love these guys back then as well. I'm flipping for it quicker. Nick Walker. He's Bristol based, I believe. Became very big in, in the fine arts scene. Probably still is. One, yeah, this guy, mad detail. These big trains down here, quite famous. These trains, saw them printed up the other day, actually. Beautifully executed. SCP crew. Look at that on the side of a train, amazing. Yen. Another gate for them. Again, production walls. Look at them. Ay, ay. Got a segment for the rest of the world, they are. Barracks. Burn crew. I'm zipping through. I'm zipping through. Some gorgeous graph here. You'd have to pause it. Oh, demote. Nice. Faith 47, she's great South African artist. Interesting styling. Yeah, Falco, Dogger. More in the gatefold. Great piece. So good. Ooh, love that. Love, love. Cab 101. Colours on that. Oh, just love all that mash there. Crazy mash. Casino. Mac one. This is like a sort of overdose of style, isn't it? <laughs> Massive overdose, beautifully spray piece there. Gorgeous. Take a look. Smurf and Sky 189. <laughs> nice. So nice. Lovely use of colour. Variation of colour. Nice. Stormy Mills. Great artist. Really lovely artist. Beautiful figures as well. I used to have a Stormy original somewhere. I used to, no, it wasn't. It was a print. I think I gave it to someone as a present. Tash, dress, all some old school style in there. I used to love all this kind of thing. Don't really see it very much anymore. Vault. We're nearly through, we're nearly through. And that's it. There we go. Same again. Graffiti world, people. There we go. If you ain't got a copy, get yourself one. If you can, I don't know how much they trade for anymore, or if you can still get one 
sort of brand new off Amazon, you probably can, I would imagine, worldwide distribution. Even though it's nearly 20 years old, I bet you can still get one of these, no problem. Uh, as you can see, an, another great document on graffiti. Uh, lots and lots of great artists in there. You are guaranteed to get some inspiration. Guaranteed. Grab yourself one.